phone Melania Trump before she underwent that procedure, and then he also spoke with the doctors after everything was finished. The U.S. has opened its new embassy in Jerusalem today. Ivanka Trump did the honors of representing her father on scene. We welcome you officially and for the first time to the embassy of the United States here in Jerusalem. That it is considered by the Trump administration the undivided capital of Israel, Brexit tradition of U.S. presidents hoping the city's future could be part of a comprehensive peace proposal between Palestinians and Israelis. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. May the opening of this embassy in this city spread the truth far and wide, and may the truth advance a lasting peace between Israel and all our neighbors. Bob Costantini, Washington. Some 50 miles away, Israeli forces killed dozens of Palestinians in bloody clashes at the Gaza border in the deadliest day there since the 2014 war. The president still has not commented after a White House aide dismissed Senator John McCain last week, saying he was dying anyway. Correspondent Pamela Brown. Kelly Sadler spoke to Meghan McCain, of course the daughter of John McCain, and said that she would publicly apologize for making this comment. It's been days uh, since the revelation, since the news of her comment came out in the public, and she has still not publicly apologized. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 68 points. The S&P 500 gained two. The Nasdaq also climbed into positive territory, up eight. I'm Ann Cates. Ryan, I don't know how else to say this, so I'll just say it. What is it, Linda? I think we should see other people. Are you breaking up with me on a roller coaster? Well, we do have a lot of fun. Maybe we should stay together. An emotional roller coaster? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to GEICO. I just need a little me time. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for authors. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Page Publishing will get your book into bookstores and for sale online at Amazon, Apple iTunes, and other outlets. They handle all aspects of the publishing process for you. Printing, cover art, publicity, copyright, and editing. Call 800-501-3689 now for your free author submission kit. That's 800-501-3689 for your free author submission kit. Again, 800-501-3689. If you would like to become a wholesale buyer of the premium quality longevity product that you hear about right here on the Tantalk Radio Network for personal service, you can pick up the phone right now and call Lola at 727-441-3311. Again, that's Lola at 727-441-3311. Or for even faster service, log on to TantalkHealth.com. That's TantalkHealth.com. Here's your health and longevity. Initialize sequence. Hey, what up, you guys? It's your girl, Vivica Fox. This is Kelly Preston. I'm so excited. Hey, this is Vernon Sawyer. I'm Kirstie Alley. I'm Kathleen Gatti from General Hospital, Dr. Liesl Obrecht. Hello, I'm Butch Patrick. John Schneider, you're listening to Don Reese on Hollywood Connection. Lights, camera, action. Hollywood Connections is here to help you get connected in show business. So get connected on Hollywood Connections at their new time, Monday night from 8 to 9 on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Enjoy. If you believe importing terrorism is a good idea, I dare you to listen to The Uno Show. If you believe gender is fluid, I dare you to listen to The Uno Show. If you believe grown men should use girls' bathrooms, I dare you to listen to The Uno Show. If you think Obama was a good president, I dare you to listen to The Uno Show. Give me your opinion, because I'm damn sure going to give you mine. The Uno Show, Thursday nights, 8 p.m. on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Hi, everybody. Join me, Wynn Tompkins, and my co-host, Precious Love, every Thursday night at 10 p.m. for the Love Factory Show, where we and our guests discuss and promote love in all its forms. Self-love, community love, family love, plus loving relationship. That's every Thursday at 10 p.m. Join us on the Love Factory Show here on the Tan Talk Radio Network. Are you looking for a job? Join me, Gene Hodge, on the Employment Opportunity Hour, Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m., where I will tell you and share with you, as well as answer all of your questions and help you find enjoyable employment instead of a job. This is the only talk show that talks about everyone who makes up our workforce. Join me on the Employment Opportunity Hour every Thursday from 7 to 8 p.m. on the Employment Opportunity Hour. 
Make sure you tune in to the only FM sports talk show in the Tampa Bay area on Saturday afternoon from 3 to 6. That's right, three hours now of the evolution of sports talk radio, the sports web. We give you your own walk-up music. We let you call in twice and we don't hang up on you like those other sports talk shows do. On Saturday afternoons in the Tampa Bay area, it's the sports web. With your host, Peter Blake, along with Sean the Sports Don. So every Saturday afternoon from 3 to 6, it's the sports web on the Tan Talk Sports Network. Don't turn it off now. You need this stuff. Tampa Bay's Tan Talk Radio Network. Initialize sequence now. Join the countdown for actors, modeling, singers, songwriters, musicians, dancers, performers, and voiceovers from across the nation to across the world. Here with Don Reese on. Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio, 106.1 FM. Hey, this is Vern Troyer, and you're listening to Don Reese's Hollywood Connections. Hey, what up, you guys? It's your girl, Vivica Fox. You are watching Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio with Don, the foxy thing. Enjoy. Hi, you're listening to Hollywood Connections with Don Mies, and I'm Kathleen Gatti from General Hospital, Dr. Liesel Obrecht. Hello, I'm Butch Patrick, and you're listening to Don Reese's Tan Talk Radio, Hollywood Connections. John Schneider, you're listening to Don Reese on Hollywood Connections. Listening to Hollywood Connections, I'm Kirstie Alley. <laughs> you are listening to Hollywood Connections with Don. And this is Kelly Preston. I'm so excited. Welcome to Hollywood. What's your dream? Everybody comes here. This is Hollywood. Land of dreams. Some dreams come true, some don't. But keep on dreaming. This is Hollywood. Always time to dream, so keep on dreaming. All right, it's Monday. You know what that means. It's your number one entertainment show in the Tampa Bay area, Hollywood Connections. Now your host, Nisi P. And the lady with all the connections, Dawn. Lights, camera, action. You're on. Hi, welcome to your drive time home. And I'm Dawn Reese, Hollywood Connections, Nisi. Thank you for being here. Hey, guys. You know, this is not just called Hollywood Connections. I call it Hollywood Connections. Right. Because it's not me, it's God that's bringing all these people together. That is very true. And and talk about that. Before we do, I I know I have Pastor Joe on, and I'm going to go to Mr. Joe, Pastor Joe, in just a second. But Pastor Joe, I'm going to play some music for you. This is from our amazing friend, Quincy. And this is just music from the heart to you, Pastor Joe, and to all our listeners. And we'll be right back. We have a powerhouse in the house today. You won't believe who's here. We'll be right back.
this and is that history. is my amazing co-host, her husband, Quincy. <laughs> and you can book them uh, with the Denise, your phone number. Yes, the phone number is 847-313-0538. And let's go to Pastor Joe, and he's going to tell us what's happening at BeamingHopeChurch.org. Hey, Dawn, good to hear your voice. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Yeah. Good. We, we, it was good to see you yesterday. I know. I told you after we were talking today, I was telling my crew here, we have casting directors and we have the Tampa Bay Film Society and we have film directors in the house. And I was just telling him, I said, my pastor was probably being mad at me going, I'm having a heck of a wonderful Mother's Day service. And Dawn is walking out on me halfway through it. And it was almost over. But my boss was texting me saying, when are you going to be there? How late? I'm like, it's Mother's Day. I'll be there shortly. <laughs> but what a good, what an amazing mother. Day service and the gifts that you had for people, not just spiritual, you know, but from from the heart. And I want to just thank you for for putting an amazing church together and uh, in a team that is amazing. Yeah, we're, we're all about the community, Donna. As you know, we're, we're you know the mothers. We had um, homemade baskets made for the mothers and gift card giveaways, and uh, you know it, it, you're, you're, we're blessed to be a blessing. You know, when when God blesses you, you see people that are less fortunate. You know, we're we're all about community and helping people. So. That's what we do. That's right. And you've got some a big event coming up. That's what we're going to talk about. And you're going to shout that out to everybody. Yeah, May 27th, Memorial Day weekend. We're going to be um, having a special service for the uh, the deputy sheriffs. Uh, they do a lot of, we, we network with them and have movie nights and outreach. And they're always helping us for Thanksgiving. So we're going to have a special service for them. And we're going to have a big block party after that. We're going to have barbecue chicken, a big double slide for the kids and, uh, you know, all our giveaways, so it'll be a real good time. It'll be starting at 10 o'clock, May 27th, and uh, you better be there. I'm, I'm going to call your boss and tell your boss, hey, listen, you got my girl, and she walked out. I know I know the reason why you walked out, because you had to go to work. I said, because you're, you're highly demanded, so I, I appreciate you, Dawn. Thank you so much. Well, I'm uh, coming from the barbecue. <laughs> you know, I want to say, Pastor Joe, real quick, um, you feed the hungry and, you know, you give you have food for people on Mondays and it's amazing. And you get stuff that is not expired. I'm talking chicken and steak and bread and healthy things. So I just want to let people know if you're hungry and you're going through a hard time, make sure you go to BeamingHopeChurch.org. But you have to go to the service to make sure you get your big thing of food if you need it. And uh, they're there to help you. Yeah, we're, we're we're open ten um, from ten to ten to twelve on Mondays, and like I said, anyone's everyone's welcome. And uh, once again, you know, we're having like you said that a big blowout event May twenty seventh. Uh, everyone's welcome. Like I said, du big double bounce for the kids and the sheriff. So you know, it's all about networking. It's not about hiding inside the building. It's uh, oh yeah, Barb, my wife is reminding me barbecue chicken. Oh, God, sounds good. <laughs> well, I also have a gift from you from one of the Christian film directors that I met. Her name is Jackie called Stand Your Ground. I've got a movie for you you're going to love, and it's a real inspirational story that she uh, went through, and I was very touched by this story. But, Pastor Joe, we want to thank you so much. We've got a full house, and it's really uh, Hollywood Connections tonight, and uh, I want to thank you for calling in, and I'll hopefully see you Sunday. I'm, I keep praying that, you know, I get to get, get to go to church. It's been two months since I started working. Well, I know, with the other yeah. job. So that takes up time. But thank well, you, thank Pastor you. Joe. We Dawn, love we, you. We love you. The music's beautiful. Once again, BeamingHope.org. And uh, everyone's welcome. So God bless you guys. And uh, talk to you soon, Dawn. Thank you, Pastor Joe. Bye. Okay. God bless. Okay, so we're back, and let's tell everybody who's in the house. And so we have, let's go to our first amazing guest to our circle of our... Our circle? Yeah, well, hi, I'm yeah. Nisi. <laughs> <laughs> our amazing co-host. Yes, and we have... Miss Ellen Schnoor. Yes. Did I pronounce that right? You got it perfectly. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes, and we're going to borrow the microphone. And Ellen is with the Tampa Bay Film Society. And we have so many important, amazing guests that they took time out of their day to be here. This is what Hollywood Connections is all about right. tonight. And Ellen actually put me on the board of directors. I'm very honored. And tell us why it's important, if you're into film and TV, that you should be involved in the Tampa Bay Film Society. Um, well, we're, there aren't that many um, places for people to go, and the film community and television community is very small right here in Tampa, and we have a great outlet for networking. Networking is really one of the most important things for anybody who's in the industry 
to, to come to a meeting, get to know uh, Bobby Hill, our casting director, get to know the directors, the producers. If you're an actor, um, I am a screenwriter and I have a screenwriting partner who's sitting right next to me, Miriam. We've written a couple of uh, short films that have um, been in film festivals as part of the Film Society. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're filming five short movies this year. Um, we are, an, you know, just an, an organization that um, wants to help. We want to help people who are new to the industry, to students. Uh, we're starting a scholarship fund. Uh, hopefully, we can, we're, our goal is to raise $1,000 this year. That's nothing, you know, and I've been out there promoting this to a lot of people and businesses for the Business View Show, and what does it take for them to donate, and where do they go uh, to help donate for that amazing cause for that young producer? Uh, well, we're looking for the scholarship fund for a, a graduating high school film student. And uh, so hopefully we'll have it done for next year. Um, and you, they can go to our webpage, which is tampabayfilmsociety.com. Uh, underneath, uh, you'll see a tab that says donations. And under donations, you'll see exactly what we're offering and what the scholarship is for. Uh, we also, you know, we try to work with, um, our, we make our fees are fees reasonable. We have a, a senior discount for seniors that are 65 plus. Um, our regular membership is $40 a year. We do also try to get some business members in to help uh, fray the cost of, you know, it. most of us, have, we're all volunteers, especially making mm -hmm. the movies. And But you still have to feed people and you want to pay them for gas money. We'd love to pay everybody but we don't have the funds. So if we can get enough business members in, and it's really not, we don't think that expensive either. It's $250 for the year to become a business member and I can go through you know, That's the benefits great, you get. Especially all the restaurant owners and people out there that maybe could help us and, and maybe donate something to come in and we can give them some airtime or a commercial if they come on board uh, the Tampa Bay Film Society. And that's when I'm out, and me and Denise here, when the weather gets a little bit better, I know, uh, we like to go out and do some more promoting to some of the restaurants and talk to them. We were just with Ramagi's as well, pizza in Clearwater. So I know that the people that we're talking to would love to be a part of this. That's great. Yeah, we just, uh, just want to mention, we, we entered a contest. Uh, it was for a public service announcement through um, the Tampa Hillsborough Film Commission. And it was uh, sponsored at the Gasparilla Film Fest. Film Florida. Film Florida. Film Florida. Yeah, there's no longer a Tampa Hillsborough County Film Commission. It's just oh, Film, film Florida. Florida. Visit Tampa Bay, Film Florida. Um, they change their name so often. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, there were 30 teams that entered, and we came in third, and it was a cash prize. So we're very excited about that. We do. Quality work, as I said, we've been, uh, our short films have been in film festivals, um, and we just, you know, embrace and want to embrace the film and television community mm -hmm. and um, our meeting tomorrow night. That's right. That's what's really exciting, and that's what we're really having you here the night before the big uh, Tampa Bay Film Society meeting tomorrow. And it's amazing because there's so many local film directors that are a part of this amazing networking team. And, and where is this going to be at? What time? Okay. Uh, uh, well, every other month we have a general meeting with guest speakers. To, and we are located right now at the Holiday Inn Express, 3990 Tampa Road in Oldsmar. Uh, our guest tomorrow night is entertainment attorney Rachel Luxemburg. And wonderful entertainment. You just heard his song by Quincy Crank. That's He's right. going to be there. Don is going to be our host for the evening. Yep. Uh, and, every, and then the following month, we show movies made by local filmmakers. Um, we just lost a very good friend of ours uh, last week. She passed away and she did only one film. She directed one film, which Miriam and I are proud to say that we wrote and was featured in a film festival. And produced it. And produced it. Wow. And um, we are going to be having a memorial night dedicated to Dottie Pasillo. For anybody that's listening out there who was a friend of Dottie's, uh, we've going to be posting it 
on our webpage on Facebook. You can read all about us on Facebook. We are we've got a. Well, I guess I can let somebody else talk besides me. No, that, no? We, we have an out. We're good. We're good. We're going to go around. But that's important, and I just want to let people know that what's tomorrow's cost to be there if they're a new person? A new person, it's $5. That's it, to be involved. And there's, like, on Johnny, I don't know if you saw our laughter lines that we did, and uh, he put me in the film, and that's bringing back a lot of memories, and we had some fun with that. And, you know, David Vogel is a part of your, your team as well, and many others. And right. we're going to introduce some of your team right now as well. So they're going to kind of share the microphone. We'll bring that microphone over there for a minute. And let's introduce another amazing lady, Miriam. Uh, you also... Uh, both of you did condo cops that is people are still talking about yep. yes yes we both did it and, and it was fun and, and we had a lot of laughs about it a lot of oh, comedy yes, we, co we co wrote it uh, Ellie and I co wrote it with uh, Billy Oaks Noakes yes <laughs> and um, we, we had a lot of adventures with that and we had a wonderful time with uh, Murders for the Birds. Actually, it won, well, it didn't exactly win, but it was nominated for the best comic um, short. comic short at, what was the name of that place? Movieville. Movieville. Okay. Th yeah, we would have won <laughs> except for the fact that somebody came in from L.A. <laughs> we can't beat L.A. Oh, wow. But one of these days we, we will. We're trying. We try. Well, I have a quick question for you ladies. Um, how did you guys get together? I mean, is this something, this is a childhood friendship, or is this something? That, how did you guys get together, Miss Mueller? Oh, we, we were uh, together uh, at a, uh, a club. We, we were the, making movie. We were writing FMPTA. scripts. and Yeah. The FMPTA. FMPTA, Florida Motion Picture and Television Association. And um, we decided it was getting... Uh, it was dying, and we just we went to Dan Brienza and Joe Davison, and they gave us um, Florida Film Network, and we we uh, organized that, and and it grew, and it was wonderful. And then one day, Ellie said, "Well, we're doing everything that a film society does. Why don't we?" become a film society. So that's why we are the Tampa Bay Film Society, because it's all Ellen's idea. And so I, how did you guys meet, though? Oh, we, we met at, at, at the FMPTA. Okay. Yeah, Florida okay. Motion Picture and Television Association. Okay. It was around for years, and then it died. It was sad. And they, they it grew, it grew old and short. died. What? They asked us to write a short. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. you talk about it. You know, you tell, you there tell was a friend of mine <laughs> back in the days. His name was Craig Solinger. He was the head of that, um, and he had passed away and opened a lot of doors. And I remember when the opening oh, up. Oh, you're talking about? Craig Solinger, back in the Craig? days. Oh, yes. He was a dear friend of mine and yes. opened a lot of doors and walked me down the first Planet Hollywood red carpet. Oh. And I had Kenny G in front of me, and I had Bruce Willis. Oh. And, uh, you know, that was the Planet Hollywood days in Orlando. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. Did, did you ever meet? Stu McDonald because he was the man who actually started Stu McDonald was the man who actually started the FMPTA years and years ago it was back in the oh, dark ages I think yeah th then they'd put their Christmas parties together and there yeah, was so much and together we had uh, the Crystal Reel Awards that's right that was amazing too because Burt Reynolds was always a part of that he came to one of our Crystal Reel Awards meetings uh, okay. was a, actually it was a gala and um one time, I actually won Best Actress for uh, Best Comedic Actress. Wow. I believe that. I completely 100% <laughs> believe that. I it was so much fun. <laughs> that, that was, was that at the Dolphin in Orlando? N it, no, this, this was, a, it was a TV commercial for Publix, I think. Oh, I meant the Crystal Reels. Oh, the Crystal Reels. No, we had it uh, in the in the Tampa Bay area usually. Okay. okay. Yeah. It was wow. Occasionally in Orlando, but usually we had it down here. Yeah. And how many members do you have in the Tampa Bay Film Society? Would you say how many people are registered with you? From film directors, actors, networking? And yes, we have uh, 
uh, we have a, a wide range of, of everybody who's connected in the industry. And you know what's amazing, Denise, is there's so many people, what I love about this, they get connected and they're networking. And all of a sudden they're in somebody's film or in Marcus's film or you're talking to an actress. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that's yeah. what it's all about. People wait to be discovered and mm -hmm. they don't have the steps like not knowing where to go. Right. And, or where to even start. Correct. Yeah. yeah. All they say start. is, I want to be discovered. How do I be discovered? I want to be famous. And then, and then we say, oh, say. Go, go, see, uh, <laughs> go see Bobby Hill. She knows all about it because she's a casting director for 30-odd years. <laughs> she's, she's next. She's on, yes, Bobby's right next yeah. to me. And, I, and pay, we're going to do a special with Bobby. We're going to come back and, and get her back on in the next month because there's so much of that. And Marcus, in your films, you're next here to break about what you do. We're going to break about what you do. To answer Denise's question, yes. which started this all, okay. okay. Miriam and I, I, Miriam was at the FMPTA. I okay. became a member. Right. And we started talking and found out she was a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. And I'm a screenwriter. Okay. So the um, FMPTA was making a short film. They asked mm -hmm. us to write a short film. Right. And our first venture was called Murder It's for the Birds, which was that. Uh, movie, the short that won, that uh, was featured in Movieville. And we've been writing partners ever since, almost 10 wow. years now. Wow, uh, that is oh, really uh, awesome. Don't forget, We Three oh, Witches. Oh, We Three Witches, that was another one that premiered at the Gasparilla Film Did Festival. Did you guys win an award for that? Got, we the Three we Witches? Three bitches, no. Yeah. No? No. no. We should have, but no. we didn't. We should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, you know, we've, we've collaborated on a bunch yeah. of other stuff. I said, we have this great this great feature length feature a comedy we're comedy writers basically okay yeah. you know and we've got um this really funny uh feature that we converted from a sitcom called almost legit and we're still trying to pitch that because we know it's good you know all right any producers out there <laughs> well you want to say help us? you know uh, lola we love lola our station owner right peter we just love Lola. Yes. Yes. And whatever Lola wants, Lola gets. That's her song. <laughs> but, you know, maybe uh, if she's listening, uh, you can talk about You said you were interested with Christy Alley on something, and yeah. she knows her pretty well. Christy has um, a production company, mm -hmm. and she's a comedic actress. Yep. So we figured almost legit would f you know would be right up her alley no <laughs> there you go you know, got right up her alley yeah. you Christy, know. you'd be perfect in it <laughs> there you go <laughs> and uh, that's amazing so you never know you know that might be a shout out to Lola and she can say hmm that might be interesting which we do and that's what Hollywood Connections is all about. So it's about 828 and we're gonna just slide over with some more But I think we have a video from Peter. Do we have a video from an interview with Miss Bobby? Yes, we're going to go right there that you did at the Sunscreen Film Festival. And we're going to introduce our power team here. Bobby Hill will be right back with us and Marcus. Just so much fun. Hello. You are beautiful in blue satin. Thank you so much. You are. You are distressed. You have the same idea. Oh, yes. See, great lines. I started That's out right. with fine strums and they broke and I had to change the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so are you guys part of the film festival today? Yes, we are. Are you actors or do you have your own movie tonight? I am an actor and my movie is not in here this year, but I hope it is next year. And this is Bobby Hill. She is a wonderful local casting director. I'm a casting Hi, agent Bobby. for 35 years here. Really? Yes. Okay, so I take it that this isn't your first film. Oh, no. no. Uh, la it wasn't last year, but the year before, uh, one of the films I cast won all of the awards. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so you guys have a movie up for an award this year? Uh, there, there's some shorts, but nothing that's, you know, real big this year. I was... <laughs> I thought my feature was going to be here this year, and I thought it was going to win an award this year, but... Not this year, evidently. Yeah. Well, well I do. Timing is everything, so maybe next year it'll be all over the place. Yeah. There you go. There I have, go. I have two TV shows that's being aired locally. Really? Yes, I have Condo Cops and also uh, Walk on Water. Okay. I have uh, 
I've done Jerry Springer, Cold Case Files. <laughs> I've done wow. you name it. I've been doing it for 35 years, okay, so, so I've done a lot. To get in touch with you right quick to be part of your movies, how would they get in touch? With uh, they could call me uh, at 727-848-3709, or they can email me at Bobby. That's with an I. The O B B I Hill Casting at AOL, and also they can go on my website. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. It's it's wonderful you talking time. with you. As well. Take okay. care. Thank nice you. to meet you. You know, it could have been like, who are the best? You did good. You did good. You got Tony. So that's what we do, you know, and, and Nisi, we had our reporters from Hawaii for the Christian Film Festival. These yes. two young, amazing girls. We're going to be doing some more specials with our reporters okay. as well. But let's introduce, hey, do you have that lightning strike? Because I always call this the power hour. <laughs> <laughs> or is that the chemo machine that at power? No, it's a power hour. <laughs> and so we'd like to introduce to you Bobby Hill. And she is in the house with us. We're so excited. We've been trying to get her here over a year as well. And she's thank with you. the Tampa Bay Film Society. Welcome, Bobby. Oh, thank you for having us. I really appreciate it. Oh, good. Um, you know, a lot of people want to know, um, you know, for Florida right now, is there a lot of work happening or what, what kind of work or infomercials, commercials? Well, it has been slow, but it's starting to pick up. Uh, it usually is slow, you know, during the after the holidays, mm -hmm. but then it uh, starts picking up. So things are finally starting to pick up. I wish there were more films being brought in, mm -hmm. but we are doing a lot of independent films here, which, uh, you know, is pretty nice to do, too. Now, I have somebody that had wrote, uh, you know, on a quick message, what about twins? I have twins that are 10 years old, and uh, can I send pictures over? Oh, definitely. Okay. <laughs> definitely, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not doing any children right at the moment, but you just never know. I could get a call tomorrow and say I'm looking for twins. But okay. it's, it's good to have you know have them on file. We do have over 5,000 people in our database. Wow. Uh, from clowns to babies to everything within, and okay. so uh, we can we can cast just about everything and, and anybody. And a lot of people want to know, you know, how did you start? I know just a little briefing. Uh, I know you have a ton of questions as well. I'm yeah. jumping in. We're like, oh, my gosh, this is hunger land, <laughs> you know. And uh, how did you start out as a casting director? Well, I'm from Las Vegas. And, of course, uh, I always wanted to be out on the strip, you know, but I wasn't old enough. So somebody said, why don't you get a job at the Sahara Hotel mm -hmm. uh, doing housekeeping? Because I was only 18. Okay. And I said, well, that's a opportunity to meet a lot of uh, uh, entertainers and see them and all and mm -hmm. uh, and I did I've got to meet a lot of them a lot of the old old stars uh, Wow the entertainers singers actors uh, everything and um, Wayne Newton Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, Wayne Newton, Dolly Parton, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> just Connie come Francis. <laughs> I go way, way back. This right. is in the '60s. Wow. And so, uh, uh, when I turned 21, I wanted to work behind the stage, and so I started working. You know, doing anything and everything. And I, I was watching their process of casting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for the floor shows and everything, and that just kind of you know tickled my fancy, and I decided wow. to do it. Uh, I did go to L.A. for a while. But it was when casting directors were just being formed. Mm -hmm. So it, they weren't really, you know, uh, top priority at that time. Mm -hmm. So then I ended up going to Alaska and I got a oh job working goodness. for the military there doing casting for the. the uh, uh, Never would have guessed that. <laughs> no. Wow. Alaska? Yeah. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I spent four years up there and uh, when they had the earthquake, I come come down here. So. Oh and my I've, gosh. I've been here ever since. In fact, about 30 years ago, I cast Miriam in an exercise program. Uh, wow. De Denise Austin was the, the, the oh, show. Oh, yes, I remember yeah. that. Oh, uh -huh. my gosh. Yeah, no. So we go way, way back also. Well, another question I know people want to know, if they send you a picture, do they have to have an agent? Uh, or can they send you a picture saying they're looking for representation still? Or how does your formula work? I know a lot of people... I have to ask that. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm not a talent agency. Right. Okay. I'm a casting agent. Explain so the difference for people. Okay. The talent agents, uh, which I still use also, mm -hmm. they represent that talent. They try to find jobs for that talent. Like Keith from Alexa was on last week. Right. Yes. Last, right. Last week. Yes. Keith and I work together quite right. often. Okay. And uh, um, he represents a particular talent, and then he gets 
a commission for representing them. Mm -hmm. Myself, as a casting agent, I'm hired by the production company to find what they need. Right. And I do not charge anything from an actor. You never, uh, casting directors never can collect any money from a, a talent. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, you just can't do that. Right. And uh, that's been like that forever. So when there's a casting director that is wanting you to pay, run. <laughs> right. Because it's uh, not uh, ethical. Right, you know. and, and just you need a smiley headshot, right? That's just, all we need, right. um, because we we go through the database and we find what the talent want, you know, what the client wants, and mm -hmm. sends the, the talent information in. If they like them, uh, mm -hmm. then they contact us, and what we do then is we either uh, hold an audition, a live audition, or uh, with today's technology, I just did a a, a casting from L.A. For, mm -hmm. from uh, for some kids here oh wow and so it was really you know is it crazy. now more skype now with auditions yes okay uh, it's skype it's zoom um there's several programs out there most of the ones that i'm using from la is called zoom mm -hmm. and right. that way we can see a lot of different talent at the same time now so, people so. ask about casting net do they have to join that or is that something their agent puts them on or well that's directly between the agency that they you know sign up with okay um, I don't what what is the hardest thing to get across to talent mm -hmm. is that they'll send me their their sites okay mm -hmm. I can't send a site to a, cl a client mm -hmm. they're not gonna research they're not gonna look they're on time schedules they want to see the headshot and resume so the talent has to send me direct the headshot and resume right I don't have time to hunt up you know they'll they'll lose jobs because they don't follow the instructions that we mm -hmm. put in the casting call. And if I have to, you know, hunt up their website or, you know, go on whatever site they're, they're registered on, I don't do it. Okay. So I basically, when, when I'm going to send you, say if I were going to send you a headshot and a resume, mm -hmm. and so you're going to put that information in a database and say that I want to be an actress and I just want to do commercials. Mm -hmm. If someone comes to you and say, well, we just need this particular type of person for commercials, mm -hmm. is that how you go by and distinguish which ones you want to use? Well, not necessarily. Uh, our database, we, we put in... Uh, what the client is looking for okay and the database pulls up all of the headshots that uh, mm -hmm. however we've keyed them in okay okay so um, if there's an actor that that just wants to do extra work or an actor that just wants to do commercials or okay. just wants to do films you know that category will come up to uh, whatever I'm I'm uh, you know working on and if it's um, you know a multiple of, of stuff if mm -hmm. this actress or actor uh, wants to do everything then he'll they'll pull up you know, when, uh, when I research that also. Well, so there's big opportunities and a lot of opportunities out there to, to work on all kinds of projects. Wow. That has changed so much. Back in the days, I used to work for Boca Talent mm -hmm. and Sarah Parker about, about Boca Talent. Mm -hmm. I remember it was Anita uh, that was there at the time before she sold it. And I walked in. This is before I was hired. And, I, and then when I was hired, I remember I had these high heels on. And she looked at me and she started to laugh. <laughs> and we had the file cabinets, you know, with the old file cabinets yes, with all the headshots, headshots. in there. <laughs> and she goes, to everybody, it's going to give her five minutes with those shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Within telling me after I was hired and That's going through right. all the headshots the heels were <laughs> off I was you know booking agent at the time but I was learning a lot mm -hmm. you know and then Sarah Parker yeah. was another one that was out of West Palm and doing some teaching but you know it's all networking with people and yes. finding the right agent and the right opportunity and mm -hmm. you know when I was younger people would say you can't model you're too short I didn't know that that agent that came in was looking for a Pacific type of Denise's height <laughs> from Milan in Japan that's what they wanted and if I would have been discouraged as a young actress in Milwaukee then I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing That's right. because there were agents that were doing Cole's department store, Jennifer's talent out of Milwaukee. And, you know, there's always a catalog short, you know, petite. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about exercise. I remember being on a box cover of AJ exercise equipment and it was in Kmart and Walmart. And my mom was so proud and somebody was carrying yeah. me out and not, not me, the box. <laughs> 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 and my mom's like, there's my, that's my daughter, you know, and I'm like, it's so cute. But anyways, those are the fun times as well. Well, an actor has to remember that uh, there is something out there for them, right. no matter what their size, shape, forms, you know, race, anything. There's always something out there that that one person is looking for. So never get discouraged. 
exactly you know, never get discouraged and and i i try to I, i've been doing this for 35 years that's a long time and, yeah <laughs> wow and, and i have just about done everything and i have seen everything and gone through a lot of stuff and it breaks my heart when somebody treats an actor badly mm -hmm. uh, because I, I hope, I'm, I'm a born again Christian and I treat them the way I would like to be treated. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm, I fight for them, mm -hmm. you know, just because I'm not an, a talent agency, I still look after them. I still make sure that they're getting their pay. I make sure that no one's treating them, you know, bad. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm like old mother hen. You know? That's that's amazing, and you don't find a lot of that around these days. You know, no. No, it's no. that the old Hollywood. You know, that no. I would say old Hollywood because that's what I I miss. You know, yes. and you have that yeah. all over I'm you. With on that. hands, I'm I'm really like to I like talking to the talent because mm -hmm. I can learn more talking to the talent than actually watching them, you know, uh, on on a, f a film or, you know, on their, their demos that they mm -hmm. send. I mean, I, I get to see their acting. I get to see, you know, how their, their body is. I, I uh, taught uh, uh, drama, and I also did uh, directing um, for 10 years for wow. theater for theater also. Wow. So I, uh, you know, I know body movements. I can, you know, do yeah. a lot of stuff to, to really identify what an actor can do. Uh, but just talking to them, you learn, you know, the inner part right. of them. Yeah. Right. Right. So and is there a particular, a um, particular thing that's in demand right now? Um, um, say a particular actress that they're looking for or say versus, um, a dramatic actress versus a comedic actress. I mean, is there is is there something particular that agencies are looking for right now? Well, it's such a vast uh, demand for everything. You mm -hmm. know, fashion. Um, you know, so many different styles of commercials. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've done so many commercials and infomercials. There's a lot of yes. infomercials. Do you yes. work with a lot of HSN as well? I used to when they first started okay. years ago. Okay. I, I did their their in house casting, and then of course they started doing it themselves. Okay, but remember when Dot they Burns? First start, yes, I I knew Dot Burns. Yeah, yeah. I, I think remember, I worked for Dot. Oh, yes. you used to work for Dot. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 wait. Was one of her, her talent agents. Yeah, she yeah, was. That's where I first learned about filmmaking. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she was a really amazing agent here in town. She was, and she really took care of her people. Yep. I remember her calling yes. me going, do you want to buy the agency? <laughs> Did she do that? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, wow, just amazing people here. And I hope you're enjoying Hollywood Connections. If you would like to go to Facebook, like me on Facebook, Dawn Reese. Think of morning sunshine and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And <laughs> I'm, on, I, I'm probably on a red carpet on one of my photos. Yes. And Denise, uh, what's your Facebook as well? My Facebook is Denise P. Crank. And I'm under Nisi P Entertainment. So That's I'm right. all over the place, you know. <laughs> or you can go on YouTube and go under Don Reese Hollywood Connections and I'm all over oh the place. Oh my gosh, go to that. YouTube. There's so many show clips up there, Hollywood yeah. Connections. We've been having fun with that. We are. Yeah. Red carpet events and Christian film festivals and we have we have so many Christian film directors coming. We are excited. This whole next couple months we're like full. Yes. Which is great. And let's yes, talk about awesome. a film director that's sitting here very patiently and he has been a big yeah. support of Tampa Bay Film Society. Bob Bobby, we're going to have you come back and really go into the casting process and maybe get some people here and talk to you. And Marcus, welcome. I know you've been waiting part patiently. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Don? I'm good. Thank you for welcoming us uh, back again. It's my second time in the studio. That's right. Well, let's go to the Tampa Bay Film Society commercial. I know for one second, and I'm going to work on something here real quick in the studio, and we'll be right back. So, you say you want to be an actor. Director, producer, screenwriter, film crew, whatever. Now what? How can you make this happen? Easy. It's called networking. After all, sometimes it's not what you know, but who you know that brings you that big break. And one of the best ways to get that break is to, you got it, network. One of the smartest places to start your networking is to come to the Tampa Bay Film Society meetings. Tampa Bay Film Society is an organization that will create opportunities for you to get educated through some great programs and workshops. Learn about productions coming up, as well as offer you opportunities to advance your career and meet others already in the industry who will remember you when the time comes. Yes, our bi-monthly general meetings is a great way to network with other industry people. How do you start? Just come to one of our meetings, enjoy it, and sign up as a member. You get discounts on Tampa Bay Film Society workshops and special events just as a starter. 
And you never know who you'll meet at one of our general meetings when you're out there networking. And best of all, it's fun. So check us out on our website at www.tampabayfilmsociety.com. <laughs> And we're back. That was a little plug there. So, Marcus, tell us what you do. Yes, uh, I'm, a, I'm a filmmaker. I'm, the ex I'm also the executive vice president of the Tampa Bay Film Society. Uh, I've been on the board now for like two or three years. I'm a longtime member of the, of the society. And I've met all of these lovely ladies back at the FMPTA. Way back, way back when I think I met Miriam like when I was in high school. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was in grammar school. I was in grammar school, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so like the, I went to one FMPTA meeting and 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 then I, um, I never really, you know, I just didn't go back for for many years uh, and, until I I uh, started going when John Matheny was the president again. And that's that's when Ellen and and Bobby and Miriam and everybody were. We're at the meetings. Now, so, are you also an uh, actor too? Um, I, I'm not an actor for hire. I but don't put you, myself you out there. You have a face for it too. Oh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. You do. I cast myself in my own film only because an actor that I cast said, "Why don't you cast yourself in this part?" I was looking to cast a part, and I didn't really know who to cast. And then an actor suggested that I play the role, uh, so I did. So now uh, I cast myself in a film. I'm not the lead, but that particular film is a series of three short action films. Which I'm in production now, currently to uh, make that a feature film. It's been a, it's like it's like a labor of love, literally, because I mean it's been five years now that we've been making this film, and I have three short films that all won awards. Uh, and so, to make the long story short, like I'm still in production on it, trying to wrap it all up into a like a 90 plus minute feature film. So cool. we're just doing it on weekends with friends. That's all that it's come to right now. Right. And but I, look, I, hey, look at the Blair you know, Witch Project. They what what happened to that? That blew yeah. up. You yeah. know. Yeah, I, mean, I work with those guys in Orlando. I work with them on a um, on a trailer for the Florida Film Festival uh, mm -hmm. way back when I was in film school in Orlando. Uh, so we did like a promo together with Dan Myrick and uh, those guys at the Blair Witch. That was back in the 90s. Wow, that's super cool. Well, you know, uh, can people send you scores for movies, you know, for their music? Um, you know, I think we were talking about that the night after the Tampa Bay Film Society meeting. Uh, you know, like Quincy, uh, you know, uh, people that have been on the show, uh, they, they're like, I need a film director that I can maybe have them listen to my music for their movie. Or uh, have a take take a peek at it. You like songs or <laughs> score compositions, right? I'm I'm always interested in, in finding uh, composers who score score music that I like, See, or okay. or oh, artists yeah. or songs. I mean, you can always okay. like email me links to um, any of your works. I mean, especially with 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 composers, it's hard to say because uh, I'm generally looking for a composer that can fit the material of that particular. Uh, film, whatever it is, so it's hard to really. I'm not looking for anything at the moment, but definitely, yeah. If there are any composers out there or uh, just musicians, sure, right. uh, email me links to your music. I'll be happy to give it a listen. My email address is aspectratio two three five at gmail dot com. That's a s p e c t r a t i o two three five at gmail dot com. Now, what would you like to do that you haven't done yet? I would like to sell a movie. That I produced, okay. <laughs> okay. which I have. Um, have some, I finished a feature documentary, which is on the festival circuit, and uh, unfortunately, it hasn't won an award yet. Not that it really means anything. I know it's a quality film. We just haven't submitted it to too many films. It's that particular film is called Joey's Show Will Go On. That's the title we shot it um, two years ago now in Tampa about Miss Joey Brooks. She's a local uh, drag queen. And we're sitting. We actually we actually screened it at the um, the movie night, Tampa Bay Film Society movie night, a couple of months back, and it got got a were good reception. I think. Were you there just this last Wednesday uh, with Anjani at the, his um, SS Film Festival? No, I missed it. I usually go to the uh, Silver Screen for short films, but I missed it this past week. Okay. Okay, no, I was wondering because they did show the laughter lines. I heard from David because everybody loved the laughter lines with you and me. I was like, super cool. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and Johnny, and Johnny Pondy's great. Yeah. So I'm looking, I'm looking for distribution on uh, on that film, and um, I'm in production on the, the other film I just mentioned. It's called the title is Peace, Love, Unity, Revenge. I've been talking, it's, I've been talking well, about for so that long. About? Just, it has an awesome title. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's an acronym. You can look it up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's an action film. Um, yeah. Thank you for, yeah, I, mean, I, I like the title too. I think it works. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's three short films that, that are part of this series. Uh, you can, you know, check out my stuff uh, on social media. Uh, my handle generally is at aspectratio235. You can also look me up at ar235pictures. 
so well, I you use never know. This goes to VH2.TV. We're really excited about the Atlanta market right. and the other markets that they're selling the show as well. So it's giving Tantalk a lot of exposure, especially with Peter's show, too. He's a sports show on Saturdays. And if you ever need an actor for sports or announcer, <laughs> Peter, give us your best acting. Yeah, absolutely. Tune in to the only FM sports talk show in the Tampa Bay area <laughs> on Saturday afternoon from 3 to 6. We call it the Evolution of Sports Talk Radio. We give you on walk of music we'll let you call in twice and we don't hang up on you like those other sports talk shows do <laughs> so join me your host peter blake on saturday afternoons on the tan talk sports network it's the sports web there you, you go and I, actually so peter's now that. very good that's a big hand clap yes. Yes. thank you very much appreciate it <laughs> you know this goes so fast everybody and we hope that you join us tomorrow if you're an actor or you know somebody you're driving you're like oh my gosh this sounds great uh and you want to get in touch with us uh 727-871-7788 um i have to go to our commercial break for a hotel deal peter we got a heck of a deal for a hotel and uh you don't want to miss this this is an opportunity if you're in clear water beach listen to this commercial we'll be right back and we're going to say goodbye to everybody and thank you for being here again and we're going to have a last word from our guest in just a minute this is a message from Don Reese of Hollywood Connections. She has a hotel deal for $99 for a two-night stay on America's number one beach, Clearwater Beach. All you have to do is text 31996. Yes, that's right, 31996, and text Hotel Deal or email concierge show at gmail.com. No blackout dates and availability is limited. If you have any questions, call 727-871-7788. Okay, and we're back, and we have a few minutes, so we're going to go around the table again. And I want to let everybody know, if you're looking behind me on the World Wide Web, Expedia Cruise Ship Center, my <laughs> husband and I are also a part of. We're excited. You can win a free vacation, maybe on a magical Disney cruise. And also text 727-871-7788. Say, I want to know more about that cruise, and I'll put you on our Seven Seas Club. And uh, we'll give you more information. So, Denise... I, I just want to really quickly give a shout out to the in in the mirror. It was an event that I went to um, on Friday. Yes, thank and you it for was, going. It was um, they were honoring young men that have made changes in their lives and going from one extreme to another. And they are so they were so excited. And hopefully we'll have videos next week um, so you guys can listen to them. But it was an amazing experience for me, and I met some amazing people. It was just awesome. And they were at the Christian Film Festival, too. Yes, we're going to do some yes, fun things together. Yes, yes. That was amazing. Mr. Ramsey Ruzar. That's right. Yes. Shout out to you. He's going to yes. come on the show soon as well. Yes. We're going to get him. Hi, Ramsey. <laughs> and let's pass the mic around, and I'll pass mine over as well uh, in just a second. And, uh, Thank you so much, Ellen, for being here. And give the number they can call for Tampa Bay Film Society for any information. Uh, well, they can call my home uh, uh, phone number. It's 813-920-5430. And I just want to say, um, whether you're an actor, anybody that's involved in the entertainment industry, you need to know your rights mm -hmm. as uh, somebody that's in the, the business. And that's why we would invite everybody to come down tomorrow night to hear um, entertainment attorney Rachel Luxemburg speak about your rights. And um, we hope everybody will attend because it's really important that you know it. I agree. I know we're going to social media the heck out of that as well. Miriam, thank you so much. I love your necklace. You're wearing that tonight. Yes, I have to get Bobby one to now. Me. I really, I just saw yes, that. I saw that. And uh, any last words you'd like to say? Yes. We have a wonderful group, and we hope you'll join us and and come tomorrow night and also come next month when we are going to show our famous murder. It's for the birds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just see this, like, big fluffy thing around you, you know, like, like Hollywood, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 that's me. Yeah, no, yeah, it is. Same I love month, it. <laughs> She's Miss Hollywood. And Marcus, thank you so much for being here. Any last words that, that you'd like to say? We have a few more minutes. Thanks, Dawn. Um, I don't know. What, what, what would you like me to talk about? <laughs> well, you know, um, I would say, you know, about your, uh, your production company, do you need any help? I just wanted to thank Nathan. I don't think he called in. He was our cameraman from Lakeland from the Christian Film Festival. People ask me all the time, do you need help well, in production? I'm or in various stages of, 
of the the process, production, pre-production, post-production on, on multiple projects at the moment, and that's that's how it usually is. That's how I want it to be. So, okay. uh, but right now I'm not in pre-production on anything. Uh, but keep us posted. I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be having a casting call. Right, I'm trying to determine what what's the next production going to be this guess summer. Guess what? We could have a casting live on the air. People yeah. love it because it's like old radio, you know. And you yeah. could actually audition them live, and then they can tell their family to watch me. You know, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it's a different aspect, you know. And they come on the air, and they you give them a script, and they read it, and people all over the world can see them. Oh, that'll be fun. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, you just let us know. Yeah. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we can do it, sure. I like that. I hope you're all enjoying our... We're just having a good fun time here at Tan Talk Radio and our VH2.TV. Thank you. Um, I don't know if we have an ending song before we say goodbye to Bobby. Do we have Chances Are? Do you have anything else on that know. flash drive? Peter, do we still have Peter? Chances Are? No. Oh, oh, that was good. Well, that's a surprise. Maybe tomorrow. Yes, we can do the, it tomorrow. Yes, that's an amazing well, song. And I want to just thank Bobby Hill for being here and a special, you know, you drove all the way over here and you've, you've been such a trooper with us on the red carpet. And, oh, thank you. Know, you. She was have you awesome. had fun? Oh, I've had a ball. Oh, good. I know <laughs> really, people are like, Bobby thoroughly Hill's enjoyed there. it. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, well, I do want to say one thing. Um, I am doing some casting, so everybody needs to get their headshots and resumes into me. I'll send it to Bobby with an I, B O B B I Hill Casting at AOL.com. Also, we are looking for people that uh, are. Uh, they don't even have to be members, but we'd like for them to join the Tampa Bay Film Society that we are doing uh, a fashion show and a fundraiser and a scholarship. So we need a lot of help and it's going to be so much fun. Oh, I think we're working on something like cool. with the fashion show. I yeah. think you're going to have a meeting, Alan, pretty soon. What we talked about at one of the hotels on the beach, maybe. Mm -hmm. I got, we got so, that hookup coming, I think. Yeah. It's around the corner. Yeah. So we do a lot. So uh, joining would really be beneficial to you because of the networking, the type of people you meet, and all the benefits that you get. Ooh. That's true. And for the fashion shows, is that all ages? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Yes, men and women. Men and women. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. there we go. I can plug the Tampa Bay Underground Film Festival really quick. We partnered with, yes. um, with uh, Reggie, and uh, who runs the Tampa Bay Underground Film Festival. And yeah, the, fest, the, the submissions are open right now, and, we're, we, and uh, we partnered with them for the first time last year, and it's happening again in December. So yes, yeah, so he keeps the submissions open like all year round because he's got so many movies to watch. Do you it's have kind of where you have like shorts for TV shows, or is it just film? Me? Yeah, the Underground Film Festival. No. Uh, oh. It's a oh, film, film fest. It's a local film yeah. festival that we partnered with. The Tampa Film Society is partnered with. I got gotcha. you. Uh, okay. And so they have they show like mostly it's like underground local indies, uh, okay. shorts and features and things. Um, and so that's I think it's like five years running now. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Okay. That's cool. And so they're really cool. And we also the Tampa, Tampa Film Society also has a YouTube channel. Right now we only have a few promos on there, but we have, we have our own YouTube channel. Please go to Tampa Bay Film Society. I think it's just on YouTube at Tampa Bay Film Society. You can find our promos. Yeah, I can see that PSA. It's on there. Oh, yeah. the PSA. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, the PSA, too, is on there. And I want to tell everybody, go to Soap This on Facebook, uh, because there's a big event coming up with some soap opera stars you don't want to miss. That's and we're helping promote that. I know. Yeah. And we just got a call from Ingrid and Kenny, and somebody, they, they want to use our sailboat for a movie. So, right. we're... Yes. Oh, she loves General Hospital. Whoa. Oh, yes. There's a lot. Yes. Soap this. Yes. Hi. Pe yes, Peter. Yes. There we go. What were you saying, Peter? Oh, we got one minute left. That's I know. He's giving me the one minute yeah, countdown. We've got that finger down. Well, yeah. next week, we just want to let you know, Nisi's going to take over the show, and you're going to play a lot of your interviews. Yes, I'm going to play a lot of my interviews, and I'm hoping to have a special guest on my show uh, right. and her name by her her initials is dr oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> you forgot <laughs> she has a lot of questions she, you asked me you said don have you ever been interviewed for a while yeah i know I and i said that would be really cool you that, always interviewing other people right. so now it's your turn thank you I, I have got from the jackson family no one would believe that i worked for the late james brown i was his entertainment reporter i have a story i mean i'm sitting in joe jackson's home <laughs> he's waving yeah i know you can Go to YouTube 
Joe Jackson, and you'll see me interviewing Michael's dad. And I've, I've had, you know, I should write a book. I've had yeah. the ups and downs. Yeah. The, the, yeah, you know, we should get that started. Oh, yeah. The minds, you go jump over. God, how did yeah. you get through that one? <laughs> it's all God. Remember, give it to him. Watch Amen. things happen and get on your knees and really pray if you want something in your life. Just That's don't right. expect it. Just, I mean, keep expecting it, but just keep praying. <laughs> I'm watching my producer laughing at me. Yes. All right. Good night, everybody. <laughs> and thank you for guys. being here. Bye. God bless you. WTAN, Clearwater, FM 106.1, WDCF, Dade City, Tampa Bay, WZHR, Zephyr Hills, FM 104.3. Listen. National Military Medical Center and will likely remain there for the duration of the war.